program is is more than special. I think it's I think it's exceptional. As a department, we we kind of try to hit the the golden mean uh, and do a lot of things and do it well, balancing scholarship and and teaching and the contributions we make to our community and um, interweaving all of these things so that they're not separate enterprises, but they're all part of one larger mission of the department. It's a really important link between teaching and research. Um, I, certainly, um, my teaching is enhanced by my research, and my research is enhanced by my teaching. The professor never stops learning because you have to stay on top of new interpretations, new materials, new evidence found, and then you translate that to your students. All the professors really bring their experiences into the classroom. And really, I think what students really learn here the most is the process of doing history. Our teaching uh, offers something that's, uh, that's unusual in a history department. All of our courses are capped at 35 students. So even our lecture courses offer room for discussion. The faculty really strives to work one-on-one -on -one as often as possible. So uh, you'll find yourself in their offices a lot, really working with material. The attitudes of all the professors are very enthusiastic when teaching their subjects, and it's really is contagious, and you know, that encourages us to go deeper into what we learn and kind of take a hands-on approach to the information that we receive. Uh, we have a, a number of courses that are uh, required, uh, uh, one course called the Historian's Craft. The Historian's Craft is the gateway course to our master's program. And this is a course where we kind of peel the surface off of historical narratives and push students to ask the really deep questions. You, know, you have to really ask and discover where these ideas are coming from, you know, what's the source, you know, that's the kind of thing that you know, historians do and I think that's what the uh, history department encourages students here to do is to really go further in exploring history. The distinctive feature of the Seton Hall graduate program uh, is this combination of intimacy and excellence on the one hand and the very rich archival materials that we make available to students uh, from which they can craft their theses. This is a tremendously important archive locally and I think regionally. There are a number of very important uh, collections of, of books and other historical materials. The Valente Italian Library started in 1996 uh, with just one stack of books, maybe we can put it like this, uh, one bookcase, uh, now has uh, more than 30,000 books. It gives, uh, at a smaller university, a chance for students to experience what a real reference library is like in a historical field. Well, Seton Hall has one of the most diverse student bodies in, in the country. What I find exciting uh, and what, what students really respond to is addressing ethnicity and the way it offers bridges to the much larger global history that we're all trying to write today. We've established a special bond with New Jersey's Italian-American communities that are supportive of projects involving Italian history and Italian culture. I want our graduates to become uh, well-informed, discerning uh, citizens of the modern world. Um, I want history to give them the tools they need to uh, understand the, the complex flow of information that people get, you know, to learn to, to cope with complexity and uh, you know, have an informed uh, view of the world uh, rooted in a deep understanding of history. I would say that my favorite moment in my classes is when um, students stop talking to me and start talking to each other. You know, that's the moment that I really feel like I have done what I was sent in there to do. I have this feeling sometimes coming out of class, like, what, they pay me to do this? I think that feeling uh, is conveyed to students and helps to ignite that same spark in them. I think the most uh, rewarding experience here is seeing the, the product of your scholarship, you know, really looking back at some of the things that you've worked on, researched and written, and uh, noticing that what you're producing is really you know, cutting edge in many ways. I feel that I, I've really been able to see the world completely differently now that I can 
see things from a, a historian's perspective.